Hey, what's up guys? Thought I'd do a little video on something interesting I found. I was looking through my Smoky Mountain Knife Works, sitting on the John, on the throne, looking at new goodies. As I usually do, I get probably, well, I get four different knife related magazines, two gun magazines, and I get about six, I think, um, catalogs that are all, you know, gun gear, knife related. And Smoky Mountain Knife, Smoky Mountain knife Works, let me slow down talking a little bit so I can talk normal. Uh, they've been a staple for me for, God, since I was nine years old. This and Bud K, Worldwide. Those are the two magazines I've always gotten since a little kid. And they have all kinds of crap in here. Some stuff's really nice, some stuff's junk. Bud K mostly has junk. Smoky Mountain has some better stuff. And yes, one day I will go down to Tennessee and I will uh, check this place out for myself. A lot of people tell me they've been there and it's awesome and yes, I want to go. No, I just can't. It'll happen one day. But uh, anyway, all kinds of goodies in here. So I'm flipping through, and I'm looking at stuff, and I found something. Oh, by the way, if you're in the United States, you can go to the website and re request a free catalog if you need something looking look at on the crapper or if you're just taking a car ride or something. Or if you're just interested in buying stuff from them. That's the biggest reason you would get a catalog. But you can see smkw.com, and check them out. You get a free catalog to look at. They have all kinds of case stuff. They do carry Zippos. A lot of people ask me what's a good source for Zippos. And we'll see if we can find it in here. I want to show you something that I found I thought was, let's just say interesting. So here's some John, or uh, not John Wayne, some Colt uh, Zippos up top there. Got some Bokers, some Gerber. There's those K-Bar zombie knives. Hey, let me know if you want me to do one of those videos where you kind of look through a catalog. Here's some more Zippos. Lots of goodies. Because um, I have lots of catalogs, and I can literally just go through, and I can probably spend two hours just talking about the crap in here. Lots and lots more Zippos. Yeah, these are pretty cool. I like these new flame ones for 2012. Fire Fist. That's pretty neat. Um, ba -ba -ba. It's a cool Harley one up top here with the skulls, if you're into that. There's old Georgie Poo. George G. Blaisdell. He's the guy who invented them. All he really did was put a hinge on an already existing lighter. But God bless him anyway. Here's one that Tex Grebner. I should get this for him for as a gift. What do you think? Something you can tat around. Uh, maybe they make it in camo. I'll have to find it. Ooh, here's a cool one for my friend Skull. It's kind of a steampunky thingy going on. Both of these. Actually, one for him and one for Kara, his girlfriend. Hey, if you're watching this, check those out. <laughs> that would be an awesome, awesome little set. Uh, let's see. All kinds of crap. Mm -hmm. Looking through. See, they have lots and lots of uh, slip joints in here. I talked about that before. You know, if you want a good source for cheaper slip joints, I mean, they have all the case stuff, but they also have some Rough Riders. They carry some Shrade goodies. But anyway, that's, I'm not talking about any of this stuff. What I want to talk about is right here. I saw this, slipping through, and I saw this dagger right here. Now what do you think came to my mind? What, what popped in my old brain? I thought, huh. <laughs> I actually said that out loud. I went, huh. That kind of looks like, I don't know, a third leg, if you know what I'm saying. A little baby arm, a little uh, beef bayonet, one-eyed willy. Twig and berries, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking. And I go, that's not right. Why would it? First of all, it's pretty stupid looking. Just my opinion. I want to say it's the stupidest looking thing I've ever seen, but I've seen pretty stupid stuff before. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm looking at it. I'm thinking, really? That's, uh, that's not right. Kind of looks like a meat popsicle, you know? Old sausage and meatballs. A little meat thermometer. Bologna pony. Maybe a tube steak or a pork sword. <laughs> Stinky pickle. The old corn dog and chicken nuggets. You know what I'm saying? Getting the hint here? So I go to read on, and it says Bollock Dagger. New! All right. Possibly the manliest of daggers. Can you read that? I'm not making that up. Possibly the manliest of daggers. This design was popular in England and Scotland between the 13th and 18th centuries, commonly carried by outlaws and raiders at the time. It is also the origin of the expression bollocking. 
Now, let me stop for a second. Um, Bollock, if you look it up, it means a couple different things. And, and yeah, it's kind of like fag used to mean cigarette. Now it's obviously something different. It's kind of like that, I guess. Yeah, back in the you know 13th and 18th centuries, as they say, I'm sure it meant something different. But if you go back to like Anglo-Saxon times, Bollock meant testicle. So it's pretty straightforward. Hmm. Uh, anyway, uh, the origin of the expression bollocking, meaning to give or receive chastement. Yes. Feature a stainless steel blade. Probably very poorly heat treated. I'm sure it'll be an awesome butter knife for you. Wood handle and guard. Cast metal end cap. 12 inches overall. Comes with a leather sheath. 15 bucks for the ball dagger. I just thought that was hilarious. And I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you own this, because I'd be interested to find out the quality. Um, it looks uncomfortable in general, besides looking ridiculous. Yes, that was a semi-pun. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. That's funny. Um, but it does, it looks uncomfortable. It's completely cheap. And who would, who would want to carry that around? You gotta be, uh, you gotta have some huge balls to be carrying this thing on your, on your waist. Although I have to say, it may be a perfect distraction to be able to carry a fixed blade because people will see this. And what, what do you, would you think that is? If you just saw this, I mean, obviously I would know it's a knife. You would probably know it's a knife, but the average person, they go, what is that? I guess it kind of looks like a hammer, but how's it staying in the sheath? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I just thought that was pretty funny. Maybe uh, I'm a simpleton. Maybe I deserve to be in a rubber room. <laughs> I don't know. But I find humor and stuff like that. I was like, you know, I'm looking through it. It's my normal, my knife mag. And I'm flipping through and da da da. And I kind of caught a glimpse of it and I went like this. I went, wait a minute. What the heck is that? And then I read on and I just started laughing. Laughing so hard that it inhibited me from continuing to go to the bathroom. That's how, uh, that's how hard I was laughing. And I figured, you know what? I'm gonna make a video on that. I think it's pretty funny. So yeah, pretty much it. Just wanted to show you that. So sorry if that was a waste of your time, but I thought it was funny. <laughs> Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you guys a little bit later. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.